Adventurer, tycoon, and stone cold bitch. Sorry, I almost killed you. <laughs> Friends? No, I don't think so.
Thank you. SNG plus this sunshine shield doesn't have a whole lot of uses. This is actually Green. 
SMG. Getting closer. Wow, look how much it costs. 111,199, and I have 111,256. <laughs> Holy smokes. Gun damage and fire rate. Protect your assets and only the best. I'm not sure if the Stormfront would even be better to use in this situation. Try and kill Meg. I think the longbow is probably better. Don't need that. Stormfront does against Meg compared to <laughs> Times is that it's like four or five. 
not including the original mission. I always thought she was kind of stingy on it before they increased the drop rate, so increasing the drop rate for her, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's nice that we got that storm front. That'll certainly help kill Zarbadon. And it's a level... I think it was a level 41. Yeah, level 41. So that kind of stinks. <laughs> 41 adaptive. Last time I went to fight her, I was using what level 38 stuff. So even if she dropped a level 40 torrent, that would still be better than the stuff I was using to fight, try and kill Zarpet on the first time. So. I knew Zarpet was going to be kind of tough. But honestly, I didn't expect her to be six levels above me <laughs> and eight levels above my weapons I had at the time. I think that's, I think this is the biggest, the biggest difference between the difficulty level between Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3 sequel, and why I think a lot of diehard fans of the Borderlands series always say Borderlands pre sequel, one of the big problems they had with it was how easy it was. And it is much easier than Borderlands pre sequel. Or Borderlands 2, there's no doubt about that. Um, Thirty-nine and four. Uh, do I even have? It's not bad, but I kind of like the sunshine shield. And I think that's that's the biggest difference. Is that uh, especially for people who don't like farming or whatever there's, there's so many different options in Borderlands the pre-sequel to to be able to get legendaries that kind of you know getting having the legendaries now really isn't yeah. they took the difficulty away because you can just farm vending machines you know you can you can, you can go online and get a bunch of shift codes 
and you can go, you know, grind a bunch of purple and get legendary that way. You don't have to farm for everything like you did in Borderlands 2. And I think a lot of diehard fans of the franchise kind of feel like Borderlands the pre-sequel was is really nothing more than like a dumbed down version as far as difficulty goes of a of a true you know sequel to Borderlands 2 and to me it just seems like it's and I know I know a lot of people have, have said it before but I really do feel like Borderlands the pre-sequel could have just been a very large DLC for Borderlands 2 um, the fact that they made it an entire new game uh, to me it's kind of cheap it's it's a big time uh, overreach ah crap How much is it? 159? Shit. But I mean, I don't, personally I don't mind it because I, I think, even though I do think that this is basically just a glorified, very large DLC for Borderlands 2, or it could have been anyway, I think the characters in this one are really well done. Uh, I like the lasers, I like... There's a lot of stuff to like about Borderlands 2, so a lot of Dire fans don't like it, but I think there's a lot of stuff to like about it, and I, and I think that it serves the purpose in that it's basically a stopgap game to carry to carry everyone, all, all the fans, uh, through to, until the next one comes out. Now, the only caveat to that, at least what I'm thinking, is they have to hit Borderlands 3 or whatever the hell they decide to call it. They have to hit it out of the park. It has to be a home run because if they made if they made us wait on this next Borderlands game as long as we're going to have to wait on it which as far as I know is going to at least be another two years probably before we see the next Borderlands game and I, I think Borderlands pre-sequel has probably been out close to a year I have a bad memory for release dates and things like that but if we have to wait that long to get essentially the next Borderlands game because even though this one is the third one that was released this is in the story this is backtracking over the story and for true fans like or long time fans, I'm not going to say true fans, but long time fans like myself this is kind of taking a step backwards in the story progression I mean I wanted to see you know where Handsome Jack and the Vault Hunters went next after Borderlands 2 and we're kind of taking a step back with Borderlands the pre-sequel and I, I, I like it and everything in the story and, and you know I think it's fun I just think that it would be nice to see what happens next and I'm sure we will but we have to wait a long time for that it's kind of like the Star Wars movies you know you gotta wait forever to see what's gonna happen next you know they showed you like some part of the future and, and then you gotta wait for the next part. This is my kind of holiday. But you have to but you have to hold on first because they have to go back and show you how everything started first. It's, it's kind of a, kind of a, a different way of doing it. But if we have to wait like this such a long time for the true sequel to Borderlands 2 and it comes out and it's a flop and it's not that good, you know, even if it comes out and it gets and it's basically like the same kind of quality as this game, um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of disappointed people out there, myself included, 
and it's to to make us to make us pay sixty dollars for this game, and then if you didn't get the season pass, you know, a hundred or whatever else, it, whatever it comes to, if you had to pay for everything individually, if you didn't just buy the season pass, but it come, I think it comes to like ninety-five, even if you did buy the season. It was sixty for the game, and I think it was thirty-five for the season pass. Maybe it was only thirty for the season pass. But you pay close to a hundred dollars for this game, and uh, ah, shit. Damn it. If we gotta pay a hundred dollars for the next Borderlands game in the series, and it turns out to be crap, or we gotta pay a hundred and fifty or whatever it comes to be comes out to be because it's the next one's supposed to be so much you so much bigger and what Randy Randy Pitchford said oh this is this is the big one Shit, all those hit the tentacles really ah there it is Ooh, a fire one never had a fire torrent prepare for the shutter Mine. I was trying to get. I'll take the fire one just because I don't have another fire weapon. That one doesn't count, I just got it too. <laughs> I'll take the fire one just because I don't have another fire weapon, but. Fire's not really the element I was looking for. But that's not too bad. What was that? I think that was probably close to maybe 10 times. And it kill her 10 times before she dropped the torrent. That's not too bad. I mean, I can live with that. So, that's pretty good. Go Gearbox for... There we go. There's a fire torrent. Woo, woo, woo. Did I have there? I think I had the other SMG there. <sighs> All I can say is I just hope I hope the next Borderlands game truly is the one, quote unquote. The big one, or the big one, quote unquote. <laughs> 
can't go down that elevator. Oh. hate this game as much as some people do. I think I think a lot of people really hate this game. And a lot of a lot of diehard fans I think really hate this game. I think it's kind of unfair. Because this this game really isn't that bad, okay? The story and some of the some of the stuff isn't up to par as to what we got used to accepting and got accustomed to in Borderlands 2 and sure I'll, s I'll, I'll never argue with anybody over the content I mean, there's Wait this game has probably one fifth now, of what um, <coughs> Borderlands 2 has as far as, as, far as capacity oh man I mean it's a legendary but it's garbage. Ah. Again, it's a legendary, but it's garbage. But this game is fun. And the fact that you can just go to a vending machine and find a legendary like that, that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to sit here and be a loser and farm the vending machines for legendaries, you know, like I was doing that when going after Meg, but that's because I was going after Meg. And I just happened to, to be there against... Uh, or to, it just happened to kind of be on the way to farm Meg. Um, I would have never, I'm, I'd never just intentionally farm vending machines with no other purpose. That's lame. But, you can do it. You know, if you get into a pinch, it's nice to know that, that you can do that. You know? it might happen. I didn't use my grenades when I should have. Hitting her. I should be getting crazy health regen right there. I'm too bloody good. Would you? 
seen inside it? The vault's open? You must turn back. The power within the vault would trigger a chain of events. Board! Hot damn cold blooded! The vault's already open, huh? Cool. Now let's deal with that laser core. While you lasted. Such a shit clan, uh, O2 kit. Not even worth it. Million five. Uh, that's not worth it either. It's easier to go kill Iwajira like five, six times and kill the drop one than to take a million five. Looks like maybe 44. Don't enter the barrel of the laser when it's firing. Oh, yeah. This is 
Come on, man, got a bunch of moonstones. Ah, look at that. Oh, it's a play. I love it. It's the core of the entire weapon. Still a chance. How can this thing even Something generate wrong. that much purple. power? Come on, get some purple moonshine uh, sniper rifles. That would be good. Zero friendly casualties. Sounds pretty great, right? Hey. Yeah, sounds great. There she is. Hmm. Oh, hey, good. pumpkin. You in there? Air control. Wow. Freaking horrible. <laughs> Jacob, sniper. You used the destroyer Good fire rate, only shine, but it's shield. It was a weapon already. Still All the iridium remnants oh, are. Yeah. I just... And this loon shine is grenade damage. I'll take both of those. And they're both level 43. Oh yeah. Very nice. So we can ditch that one and ditch that one. how to use it. Anyway, how do we shut this thing down? Yeah, that's nice. Even ignoring the weird ass eye, this type of react is highly volatile. The shock damage. You're feeding it something that amplifies its fire rate. Oh, man. It was faster because I missed with the sniper rifle. Do exactly as I say, and Missing everything will be fine. Switch three of the flow sequencers to their prime Very position nice. and reverse the power differential. Uh, pardon? Press the thingy until you see purple, then press the thingy again. Oh, you're just a delight, Moxie. Um, the eye seems to be upset. Moxa, I only juice the eye with a little bit of slag at a time, right? Yeah, sure, this is an it extra three percent shield, so that's pretty good. Trust me, sugar. I'd rather have a ten percent. Grenade damage on the wild. Uh, Moxie, really nice. the eye's freaking out. That's a good one. If this slag stuff is powering the laser, we need to force as much of it as we can back into the eye. The increased power will trip a failsafe and let us shut everything down. The eyeball may not like it, but it'll be fine, honey. Warning. Space-time instability detected. Entering protective mode. See? Just like I said. With that failsafe tripped, we can reboot, and then the laser will be all yours. Ha! Wait, go! Press that button! What's wrong? If the eye starts acting weird again during the reboot, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Thanks to the failsafes, it couldn't possibly do anything other than shut down. Yeah, well, agree to disagree. All right, let's get back to the command center. With Zarpa nuts dead, we can reboot the laser remotely from there. Bad guy's dead, we're about to save the moon, and the vault full of cool ass alien stuff is apparently already open. Just shut down the laser and we can get to the fun part. Finding that vault. I'll let you do the honors. Reboot sequence activated. Command control reset. Rebooting in five, four, three, two. Shut down aborted. Invalid energy configuration. Oh, great. What now? Set point quest! Jax. I'm sorry. I'm not. Warning. I'm not. Whoa! What the hell? 
What the hell? Good job, everybody. What's Moxie? What the hell are you doing? Betraying you. Trying to kill you. Two things I should have done a long time ago, you power-hungry psychopath. What do you mean, Moxie? How did you even... I've been watching you, Jack. And behind that smile, behind that hero complex, there's something wrong about you. If you come down from Helios alive, a lot of decent people will live to regret it. No, oh, no, no, no! Damn it, I trusted you, Moxie! Do you know what you've done? You just killed us all! them all in time but for now we just need to get to that vault before they do dumb bastards probably want to destroy what's in there Zarpadon said a tangle of chemical fill she mean doll's old back of Burke refinery site get back to the moon's surface and check it out there's got to be something there that'll lead us to the vault what's going on up there John the readings we've got shut the hell up Tassadar shut the hell up my ex-girlfriend and her two BFFs just tried to kill me. And the last thing I need right now is your senile ass whining in my ear. If I get one more message from you that isn't, Atta boy, Jack, or I'm sending you a big <laughs> bag of money. Then I'm going to reach through my echo communicator and gouge your eyes out with my pinkies. <clears throat> Are we clear? I... Goodbye, John. Goodbye. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Isn't that a boy, Jack? <laughs> All right. Dealing crowd damage to an enemy while cold as ice is acting very true. Stack improves action skill. Activating cold as ice causes you to knock back all nearby enemies, forcing your shard to switch target. Causes you to knock back all enemies again. Very much. I'm just a bit miffed that two dangerously interesting ladies tried to end me. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to kill them. You still mad at Lilith for trying to kill you? Guns! I got them, you need them. You buy from me, my yay!
my game. You can always trust the gun at your side. Med keep you safe. I'm sure we'll be doing this. Man, I'm shocked, so that's a wasted point. I don't know what level uh, your Jira is.
see what level he was. So if he's 52, then he'll probably be at 50. Well, that's it for the pre-sequel. Good tonight.